They called her a liar, a hysterical woman, a danger to progress, because she dared to say what no one else would, that humanity was poisoning its own home. When Rachel Carson wrote Silent Spring, she didn't just expose the truth, she detonated it like a bomb in the heart of the establishment. Picture this, America, 1962. Factories roared, planes sprayed DDT like holy water, and the world worshiped technology as its new god. But amidst that blind faith stood one quiet, fragile woman fighting terminal cancer. And yet she chose not to fight for her own life, but for the life of the planet. They mocked her, smeared her, said she hated men, science, and industry. But Rachel didn't care. She stared down power with the calm fury of truth. Her voice trembled, but her words were iron. She wrote not with anger, but with mourning, for the rivers that ran with death, for the birds that no longer sang, for a world too arrogant to listen. When Silent Spring was published, it shook the foundations of power. Presidents took notice. The chemical giants panicked, and the world began to awaken. She didn't live long enough to see the environmental revolution she ignited, but every law that protects the earth carries her fingerprint. Rachel Carson proved that even a dying woman with a pen could roar louder than empires. That truth, when spoken with courage, can resurrect the voice of the earth itself. This is Chronicles of Spirit.